Did I miss a hair? Oh lord. job and I'm going to get into as to what I've been up to and what's been happening um, I'm very happy it's definitely like a higher paying job I still have my business but the job that I went back to was um, with me also doing hair um, I just was it was temporary so I'm happy to finally be able to leave that one once again, which it deserves its flowers over and over again. Um, I'll go more into detail about that. I feel like I could talk about it more now because everything is solidified. Um, yeah, it seems like this new job seems like such a pivot from my hair career, but I... I don't know I just with this economy and inflation I just felt like I needed something that was just offering a lot more money and working for bigger chained um, companies that are in the hair industry and just is not the go for me at least as a creative person it's like I a thousand times prefer to work at a you know private hair salon small business but those hours also don't correlate to being a mom and having that flexibility so working at the bigger chained hair salons like Ulta, Dry Bar and um, you have Blow Me, you have what other places? There's so many other places. Those places offer that flexibility, but I soon learned that like it's just not for me with the way that they handle business. And when I've worked at a full service salon, private salon, or small business, um, the, the true culture of salon, you know, life, is what I value most but unfortunately I can't do those hours because um, I can go in early but I cannot leave early to pick up my son from school so it, it's like that's why you know my my best bet is to you know work on my business and on top of that work a side job but now this is like a better side job where I'm gonna get paid more and the hours work perfectly with uh, my son's school schedule and he's only seven so if he was older then I'd have more flexibility but this was pretty much the road that I had to get on my husband went to go get me some Starbucks and he dropped off our son at school this morning, so I didn't have to go. Win-win. blow drying my hair now I just want to set it I haven't blow dried my hair for over a month now so I just just I like giving myself a break and my hair is so fine it um, I get split ends right away so today I have a client 
she's coming at four o'clock and let me lift you guys up i did want to play around with my extensions i have a doll head um <laughs> thing right here the only thing is i can't find my doll head <laughs> so that's i need my doll head so i can uh clip these on so I could blow dry them. And I just kind of wanted to wash them. I haven't used really them, them or played around with them since the wedding. And I think I actually wanted to give them a little trim. These are 22 inches. And, oh Lord. These are 22 inches. So I kind of just wanted to make them 20 just because they get like really long. And to be honest, I don't want like but when I wear these, I don't want to just have like a full head of hair, like how I had it for my wedding. I just want to add some length and volume. So thinking of just like one piece here in the center, but then it's like really long. So if I do just one, I feel like I have to cut it so that it can blend in a lot more. So pretty. Let me take a selfie. Maybe this could be a cute little thumbnail. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> oh my God, just wow. Just wow. So dry bar was the first job that I started um, in my hair career, like straight after cosmetology school. And um, I worked there for like two years. And at the same time, that's when I started assisting at a full service salon and it was it was really good because i was able to see like the culture of like what a real salon is supposed to be like feel like the vibe and you know it's great but i didn't end up staying i was an assistant so i didn't end up staying at that that salon so i stayed at dry bar for two years and then covid happened and then after COVID, I just, I didn't know what to do. I was kind of like at home, uh, like a stay at home mom and just trying to figure out what the next step was gonna be for me. But I knew I didn't wanna be at dry bar anymore just because it got repetitive. And I just kind of felt like I wasn't being challenged, right? So fast forward to now and leaving Ulta and going through what I went through with Ulta, which Dry Bar deserves its flowers and so does Ulta. Like honestly, like I love Ulta as a as a as a job. Um, Ulta has a really great like stylist program, commission, tip wise, every every day after work, like I was going home with tips. So can I complain? Like no, I cannot complain about it. Like it was just a very unfortunate situation um, upon like what actually happened and great my battery is about to die i think i got like one more minute but so that's why i went back to dry bar now as i'm starting like this business because i needed something that just wasn't gonna take too much of like my time and effort while i dedicated time and energy into my studio i'll be right back i've always knew known that i wanted to be my own boss so i was just kind of like when i was working at Ulta, I just knew like y'all can't be taking the whole profit like Ulta is getting paid I'm helping Ulta get paid I'm not 
getting paid so unfortunately the situation happened it was a blessing in disguise for me because now i have my own studio so fast forward to now i just to what i said this morning i got a different job which is a strong pivot from this but not so much of a strong pivot either just because now that i have my own business this job is in the finance industry so it's i don't want to say exactly what it is but it is on par to me and who i am and what i believe in and just like i've always been like a businesswoman i've always liked the business side of things and i've also i'm like self-taught and financial literacy like i took out the time to read the books and to apply what i've read in books and what i've learned online as well to not using my body that much to earn this money and at the same time like you know do both while i'm been building my clientele here so yeah i'm that's things have just been happening left and right i feel like i've been scattered everywhere um I, I've been, I feel like I'm all over the place, but it's like in a precise way. Like not just all over the place in a mess, just all over the place, but with a purpose. So that's been my life. Like I, this year has just been a lot of up and down, up and down, but it's all been working to get me to where I am now, essentially where I'm going and where I want to go. There's obviously other like goals and stuff that like I want for myself and things that I'm trying to build and you know, things that like align with me and what God has for my life's purpose. And that is between God and I, so yeah and i've been able to create a lot more content like this too like just it, it makes for very interesting content i feel like it's not just like repetitive although i'm a homebody so <laughs> my life is pretty repetitive like at home but like outside of the home like i'm doing hair i'm doing this and i'm doing that and i'm a mom and it's it's, it's a lot <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and be like a little bit more transparent um, with that. So with that being said, I'm just gonna wash this and then after I'm really, I think I'm just gonna have to really look for my doll heads. They're in the garage and I just can't find them anywhere. I just remember putting them in a bag. But yeah, let's get these washed. Husband came to the rescue. He brought food. Oh my god, I have the best husband ever. I was starved. I couldn't even think straight.
Yeah, I was just blending them right now. 